Hi, I'm Haley Knox. I play for Medina Girls Soccer, and this is Ohio Sports Night. Hi, I'm Leanne Prandy from Medina Girls Soccer, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. Hi, I'm Bree Cacavelli. I'm a junior at Medina High School, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. Woo! That was good. <laughs> One team to watch out for in 2014 is the Medina Bees. Medina is loaded. Ten seniors with combined 23 varsity letters. Six juniors who have played on varsity since their freshman year. With so many talented players on the roster, who's going to get the playing time? My class, like, doesn't even feel like I'm a junior. Like, I feel like I'm still a freshman and I have something to prove. Like, I feel like we all have chips on our shoulders still. Like, I, I doesn't feel like I'm a junior and, like, I still have to, like, prove that I deserve time out there. And because we have such a deep roster, she like, plays for Super <laughs> Wiley. We have, to, we have to all work hard. Last year, I know for sure everyone would complain about playing time, even in like preseason scrimmages when it's preseason. It doesn't matter if you play or not. But this year, everyone has been really understanding. Everyone is focused on the team, which is where we need to be. And I think that because we're so focused on the team and the team's effort, it's going to be a lot better in the long run. We all know that each person has a specific role and if their role is to play only 10 minutes one game and then 30 minutes the next then they're just gonna have to accept it because our coaches know what they're doing and so um, everybody's gonna get the chance to play and um, we just have to show um, the coaches that we deserve to be on the field and um, that's what makes practices really competitive because everybody wants to get on the field but we're, we're all working towards the same goal so we understand um, if one game we might not play as much because it's for the best of the team. That is one of the keys to our season and that's the thing that our 09 team bought into. Uh, we had seniors on that 09 team coming off the bench playing 10 minutes a half and they accepted those roles. They, they didn't necessarily like those roles but they accepted them and that's something we, we talked about today is that we have to realize that Medina is more important than Carino and if we can do that we, we've got a chance, chance to be special. I mean that, that 09 team does not remember who started, who played 10 minutes, who played 30 minutes. They remember standing on the field at Crew Stadium hoisting that trophy. Those are memories that last a lifetime and that's our goal this year. Isn't it? I mean that's everybody's goal this year and there are a lot of quality teams in, in the area um, but we think we are as good as anybody and we think we can make a run at it if we can uh, if we can buy into and settle into our roles and just play for the team. I, I see a lot of similarities. Um, I see similarities in the depth. I see similarities in the personality of some of our individual players, especially our seniors. And I see similarities in just our overall talent. Um, I mean, it's it's hard to win a state championship. I mean, it, it is hard. And, um, you know, I, that's that's our goal as it as it is every year, and I think we've got a reasonable a reasonable chance this year. Um, the area is loaded with talents. I mean, Brunswick's got talent, Strongsville's got talent, Hudson, Mags. I mean, there are so many teams in Greater Cleveland that are sitting here today saying our goal is Columbus Crew Stadium. So it's it's going to be a dogfight, and. Uh, I mean, the, I, I have no idea who's going to be in the preseason top 10 because there are so many quality sides out there. But we think we are as good as anybody, and we think if we're on and, you know, we can stay healthy and we can peak at the right time, we think we've got a great shot. They're living by one philosophy. Work hard for the team. Confidence is high, but the bees know nothing is going to be handed to them. How good are you guys? <laughs> Pretty good, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're really good. I mean, we definitely have the maturity to make it pretty pretty far this year, so I'm hoping good things will come. I think we're pretty good this year. We've got a lot of new people that are on the team, and they're contributing a lot, and we have a lot of subs. Our team is really deep, and it's going to pay off when we have to make subs and stuff. It's good. We have the pressure on ourselves. We know what we can do. What other people think we can do, we're just going to prove it every single game. Along with the experience, a good blend of youth is up and down the lineup. 
Janice Joyner is one standout, and she's just a freshman. She's amazing. I think um, once she gets a little bit more confident with the ball, she's going to be one of our top scorers and playmakers of the game. She definitely is very good, otherwise she wouldn't be um, on varsity as a freshman. I mean, all freshmen have um, things to learn, and she's just starting out, and I can't wait to see what's in store for her because she um, definitely has a lot of potential to do great things for this team. It makes me feel a little more confident because I'm already confident in my defense, and obviously I'm confident in my attacking half of the field too, but for a freshman to come in so confident in herself, and makes me confident in her. If you're not, she's not confident in herself, then no one else will be, and it definitely shows and it proves to everyone else that she deserves time out there. And no one can say, oh, she doesn't deserve time out there. It's clear that she deserves her time. So it's nice to have somebody believe in themselves. And not that the bees need any extra motivation, but after last year's regional semifinal loss to Magnificat, head coach Doug Carino and the 17 returning varsity players have a seriously bad taste in their mouth. I was pissed off. That was the only thing that I could explain because we had so many opportunities and chances in that game and I felt like we came in really prepared and to lose it was devastating but I feel like it fueled our anger now like we're just ready to go this year this is our year. Uh, devastated. <laughs> it was pretty bad especially since we hit or we had that goal and that they called back and then they went and scored two goals and it really just made us upset and motivated to come out and advance further along this year in the tournament. And last year we had really high expectations from everyone to do so well, so we definitely weren't expecting to get out that soon in the playoffs, and it was really disappointing. So that kind of fired it up, up this year, and that's why we're pretty much ready to take it on this year because we want revenge from last year because we're ticked off that we got out so early. And I felt really defeated because the whole season we worked really hard, and we were hoping to make it to the, at least the final four because last year we made it to the, or the year before that, we made it to the Elite Eight, so we wanted to take it further than we did last year. And um, once we, when we lost, it sort of didn't feel real because it didn't feel like we deserved to go home. So this year, hopefully, we won't make the same mistakes and we'll be able to finally make it to where we want to go. Their only cure is a return trip to Crew Stadium, where the Bees won it all in 2009. I think we're a top team in the state. What's some realistic goals for you guys this year? The state championship. The state championship. Why is that? Well, I think we have a lot of chemistry this year, and we have a lot of depth in the team, and everyone contributes, and I actually think we have a good chance. How important is the state championship for on this year? It's so important. <laughs> I want it so bad. <laughs> as long as we um, don't give up and keep working hard, show teams that we deserve to be here, then I feel like we have definitely have a good chance. But before the Bees can book their trip to Columbus, junior defender Brianne Cacavalli plays the voice of reason. Because if we think, oh, we got knocked out early in playoffs, then like we're going to be focusing on October, and we don't need to be worried about October right now. We need to worry about August, and that's all. I'm Bree Shingari, a senior at Medina High School. I'm forward and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. I'm Sydney Leckie, a junior center midfielder at Medina High School and you're watching Ohio Sports Net.